Hello and welcome to Lesson 6.2 Addition and Subtraction of Vectors. Today I'm going to show you how to add and subtract two different vectors from each other. If you wanted to add more vectors, we'll talk about that a little later. So, one of the possibilities is using the triangle law. So, in order to use the triangle law, what you do is you're going to be placing the tail of one vector to the head of the other. So remember that this is called the tail, and this is called a head. So we're going to redraw these vectors by taking a ruler and locating them in different locations. So I'm going to redraw the vector V here. Where's this vector? And I'm going to redraw the vector U using a ruler as well. So now that I have a tail to head, what I draw is my new vector going from the tail of U to the head of V. Forming a triangle. And U plus V turns out to be this new vector that we created here, which is called a resultant. A resultant vector is always the addition of two other vectors. And there we go. That's how we draw it using the triangle law. Now what we can do is, instead of using the triangle law, we can also use a different law. We can use the parallelogram law. Parallelogram law requires you to draw the same two vectors again but so that you form a parallelogram. So let me show you. So let's, let's straight redraw V right here. I'm gonna redraw the vector U here and here. And again, we draw the vector V right there. Now I'm going to put uh, all the vectors' heads on them so that you can see which way they're headed. So to draw U plus V, what you do is you locate the two tails and draw a vector or a line headed towards the two heads. Like so. Your new head is located where the two heads meet, and your two tails, where they meet, is your new tail. And this is your resultant vector, u plus v. Cryers are a little bit more drawing here, but it gives more information as to some angles and some lengths within these shapes. So it might be useful to use. So, moving along. I'm going to show you how to subtract two vectors. So when subtracting vectors, please realize you're adding the opposite vectors. So let me show you an example of this using what we have here. So let's say we want to find out how to draw u minus v. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to draw u and you're going to add negative v to it. Negative v, again, is the opposite size vector of v. So, we're going to take our vector v here. I'm going to copy it. Right here. But I'm going to head it in the opposite direction. Because that's the vector negative v. I'm going to take my vector u and copy that. vector u copied and now u plus negative v is just this vector right here u minus v and that's how you draw 
the subtraction of two vectors. Okay, so make sure you have a calculator handy. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode as we're going to use that information to calculate. So here, two vectors, one with magnitude 4, the other one with a 5, and the angle in between them is 40 degrees. We're going to draw an example of these two vectors, and we're going to determine the resultant magnitude and velocity and direction. So, let's draw an example of these two vectors. So using my ruler, I'm going to draw a vector that's 4 units long. Right here. And I'm going to estimate where 40 degrees is and draw a vector that's 5 degrees. Sorry, magnitude of 5 from there. So let's say this first vector, I'm going to call it U. It has a magnitude of 4. My second vector, I'm going to call V, has a magnitude of 5. And the angle in between it is 40 degrees. So there's our drawing. We're going to draw a resultant. So to draw a resultant, I'm going to copy the vector V so that it attaches up here. And now I'm going to find my resultant using triangle lock. So there's u plus v. So I've actually drawn it, I just don't know what the size of it is and its direction. Due to the fact that I drew the 40 degrees uh, by eye, I wasn't exact with that. The ruler also might be slightly off due to uh, shaky hands or the fact that I'm using technology here. So please remember that the length of this vector up here is 5 units. Well, I also can figure out what this big angle is right here. Due to the fact that the two vectors that are V are headed in the same direction, in other words, parallel, and the bottom angle is 40 degrees. I know this angle in between is 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, or if you wish, 140 degrees. Well, we know some properties here to help us figure out the size of u plus v. So first of all, I'm going to remind you guys of something called cosine law. So let's say this is my angle theta in between. This length is a. This length is b. Actually, I'm going to call this angle inside capital C instead, or little c. So, you may remember the cosine law as c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of angle c. Well, you might notice that we already have these lengths over here. So we can figure out the magnitude of u plus v squared by doing some substitution of values. Now, you guys practice this a lot in grades 10 and 11, so I'm just going to assume that you guys know how to do this and show me the answer. So here's where you grab your calculator and work it out. So that's what I'm doing on my calculator right now, typing this all in. Don't 
forget to square root the answer. And you'll get approximately 8.5 units in length. Make sure you don't clear your calculator, that you keep that value exactly in it, so that you can use it in your next set of calculations. Well, what we want to now do, now that we have its magnitude, we need the direction. To figure out the direction, you're always figuring out the direction based on the angle in the bottom corner here. That's where the tail is. So I'm going to call this angle theta here, and I'm going to use sine law to help me out. So I'm going to set up my sine law here, sine theta over b is equal to, I know, sine of c over little c now. So let's substitute and solve. So in this case, b is 5 We did approximate this, so I'm going to put a dot above the equal sign, because that's approximately 8.5. It's not exactly 8.5. It's 8.46414666603 on my calculator. So that's the value I'm using. And again, we've done this many times. Don't need to show me all the steps. Just show me this answer. So I'm going to type that into my calculator now. And I get approximately 22 degrees. So what that means is that angle at the base is 22 degrees from the 4. So let's write our concluding statement. So therefore, the resultant has magnitude 8.5 units and is 22 degrees from four vector. If you said it was from the 5 vector, obviously it would have been 18 degrees, because uh, 40 minus 22 is 18. And there we go. That's how you find magnitude and direction. Okay, so some other properties here. We're going to graphically subtract AB minus AC, and we're going to algebraically subtract AB minus AC. I'm going to show you how to do both of these. So to graphically subtract AB minus AC, again, we're going to take the vector AB and add the opposite of AC. Well, the opposite of AC the opposite of AC so A to C I'm going to draw it on top here in red. This vector is the opposite of AC. And you might notice it already has the tail and the head together. So, in order to find my result, I go from the tail of C, A, to the vector to the head of AB. And there's my result. This is the vector AB plus, or sorry, let's write it minus, minus AC. So there's part A. Part B. Well, in order to do this, let me show you how we would write it algebraically. So we're going to take AB minus vector AC. Or if, again, we want AB plus negative of AC. Well, the opposite vector of AC, as we saw, 
just turns out to be the vector CA. It's actually going from the point C to A. Well, due to triangle law and parallelogram law, we can actually move the uh, vectors in different locations. So I can actually put CA first and add AB second. Well, what this means is you're going from the point C to the point A, and then from the point A to point B. So in actual fact, you're kind of going right from C to B by going through A. And therefore, your result is just CB, which you can see is the vector that you got as a resultant of AB minus AC. Okay, so this means there are some properties of vector addition. Just remember the properties, you don't have to remember the names of these things. So one possibility, and just stemming from what we saw here, any vector u plus v is the same as adding vector v plus u. Doesn't matter which order you add them in. This is called the cumulative law. Another possibility is you maybe you're adding three vectors. Well, if you're adding three vectors, all you have to do is add two of them first, and then add the third one after that. And the great thing is, it doesn't matter which order you do this in. So you could add the two vectors A and B first, and then add C. Or you can add the two vectors B and C first, and then add the vector A. This is called the associative law. And I'd be a bad math teacher if I didn't mention the zero vector. Well, the zero vector is a vector with no magnitude and undefined direction, and is labeled as zero with a vector symbol on top of it. So some properties of the zero vector is, if you did take any vector a and add it to the zero vector, which is just a point, doesn't go any further than where A was originally. Or, likewise, if you draw your vector A, and then you draw your vector negative A on top of it, you go back to where you began. So you haven't moved anywhere. And thus concludes Lesson 6.2.